Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Valerie with 5P Designs and today I bring you a dumpster find. It is this super cute Evans tricycle and it was just being thrown away by my neighbors. Nice people but I guess they didn't want it. Um, I did try to sell it thinking there might be a collector out there who could refurbish it a bit but there were no takes on that. So I decided to clean it up a bit and use it in my lawn as a nice little decorative fun piece. see me fitting a basket to see if it's the right size what I'd like to do is add some potted plants to the front of this so um, what I'll do is I'll just take some wire and wrap it around the handlebars um, so the next step that I'm going to do is to clean it because it's an itty bitty bit dirty I think it was sitting in a shed for quite some time and then of course it was thrown in a dumpster so I'm just taking my hose and washing it down it is a super duper hot day so it's not gonna sit here and rust further because of the water it pretty much is going to dry in five minutes because it is so stinking hot right now all nice and clean now so i'll just let it sit here and dry and while i'm at it i might as well give my garden a little water so here's a little garden tour for you just a brief little pause in our project three containers I'd like to use along with the tricycle in my little lawn display. Two of them I got from my mom and one my husband found and I really just love the patina of them nice and aged and just they have a lot of character so I'm gonna leave most of that. I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit and then maybe add a little decorative touch so stay tuned and I'll show you what I do. As I mentioned earlier, I don't want to change these containers too much, so I'm just going to add some simple alphabet stencils to them. I think it goes along with the tricycle theme really well, and these are by Essential Stencils, so you get the whole alphabet and you can do lots of fun things with them. So I've used some painter's tape to um, put them down. Some people can stencil without painter's tape and they just hold it on with their hands. They're true pros. I don't do so well with that, so I tape mine down. I'm using DIY paint here in Little Black Dress one of my very very favorites and a simple stenciling brush um, I'm sure you've seen people stencil a million trillion times but if you haven't remember you want to offload your brush a little bit and then start stenciling so that you don't have bleed through so just tap 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 and oftentimes the amount that's on the lid is enough to stencil your project One bucket down, one to go. So I will just repeat the exact same process on the second one to which I've added the letters B and C. So 
since the tricycle will remain outside, I wanted to see if I could preserve it a bit with this Rust-Oleum rust inhibitor. We'll see how it works. I've never used it before. I can tell you it's super stinky. The containers are all dry, so now I will be adding a top coat so that the paint doesn't wash off. I'm using Fusion's Tough Coat. This is actually not recommended for outside. However, I've used it on some signs that I've put outside and it's worked fine. However, they've all been kind of under trees or on my porch. So if it's going to be something that you'll have right directly out in the elements, I would probably use something far more suitable. to the final touches so I've attached the, the uh, basket with some wire it's not pretty but you shouldn't be able to see it so I'm not really concerned um, and then the next step I decided to add some twinkle lights these are solar powered which is nice I think I got them off of Amazon at some point and they're super long so they should wrap around the entire tricycle so I'm excited to see how they look at night so stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you pictures of that <music> 